Hello everyone and welcome back to Gonna Outside to Chronicles. Today like we're taking a look at Verrucked, of course, again. the second map ever made in Call of Duty Zombies. What a beautiful place this sanatorium is. Just like before, let me go ahead and turn on God Mode as well as No Clip. And uh, let's let's start taking a look outside this here map, man. Uh, thank you guys for all the support on the, the first video of the series on Nocturne Toten. means a ton to me. That you guys are interested in this series because I love this kind of stuff. I love taking a look at what kind of artwork lays beneath or lays outside the map uh, that we don't normally get to see. And uh, without further ado, let's go through the wall. Sick. So, I mean, you get to see all this from outside the map, but now we're getting a little bit more of an up-close uh, view of uh, all, these, all these bones here. And, of course, the blood fountain. Wonderful. Love to see that. Wow, what a beautiful lady. I don't know if there's a ton more to see. Oh my god, what is back here? Okay, there's just... Okay, there's just an absolutely empty room. I'm assuming this is a spawn point for zombies. That would make sense. Uh, before we take a look around the exterior, though, I just want to make sure... Like, there's no... There's nothing crazy that we're missing inside of the courtyard here. I mean, another empty room here as well. And then, uh, same with this over here. Oh! There's a door. Sick. So that goes to the outside. So we'll... Oh, God. We'll fall through the map, I guess. We'll take a look at that in, in just a little bit. Let's go back into the interior. So one thing I noticed is this fountain seems to have a barrier on it. And I'm kind of interested to see, like, how high is this barrier? It looks like it's... It looks like it's yay high. Pretty strange to me that there would be a barrier here. Um... But if we force ourselves inside of it, let's see, can I can I get inside? I want to just swim in the blood, you know. <laughs> I just want a just want a little taste. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's all that much interesting going on with the fountain, but still, kind of strange that there's barriers like this outside the map. Because obviously, there's no way you'd ever um, get on top of this. So I don't. I'm not sure. Not sure why this is here. Interesting. Alright, let's make our way on outside here. Let's take a look around. We've got a bike just chilling. Fantastic. Uh, of course, Verrucked is actually part of one of the campaign missions from World at War. Um, so, there might be some... Right, I think of the campaign... I can't quite remember, to be honest with you. I think from the campaign, you came from this direction somewhere. Uh, but I think it'll be interesting just to see what's left over. Obviously, this is Black Ops 3, so... Oh my god, we fell through a fountain. Yeah, obviously this is Black Ops 3, so it's not going to be the same as World at War. It's going to probably just be a really touched up version of it, I would assume. Especially with outside the map, right? I mean, like, surely they're not doing a ton more out here. Um, but it does look pretty cool, I gotta say. Can we walk on this? Nope, can't walk on that. Ah, okay, so it seems like where we can walk is very limited right now. Like, all we can walk on is this chunk. So this is the end of it, and I'm assuming it goes all the way to the other corner as well. Let's take a walk around the entire thing. Let's see what we can see what we can look at, and then maybe we'll no clip even further outside the map. Just to take a look at some of the artwork out there. As always, all these trucks are just things you can just straight up walk right on through. I'm kind of interested. Let's go out this side. Oh, hey, how's it going, zombie? What's going on, man? How you guys doing in there? Uh, I guess. Oh wow. Okay. Okay, that wall it doesn't exist from this side. That's cool. What a perspective this is, too. I mean, this place looks a lot different from the outside. You know, it doesn't look nearly as uh, as scary as it does from the inside. It looks like we can just see straight through, straight through the map there as well. Strange. Oh, dude, the uh, the inside, the inside of these uh, crematoriums, or I suppose, what are they called? What are these called? Let me know down in the comments what these are called. Um, but the inside of these are modeled. Look at this. Like, like, hold on. Let me, like, just get up in here. Well, I mean, they have dead bodies in them, and they're kind of open, so I suppose it kind of makes sense that they're modeled. And let's see, is the one that's closed modeled as well? No. Okay, so they, they actually, they were pretty, they were pretty conservative on the assets used here. Although this one down here, which is open but yet still closed, um, I believe that one was modeled, right? Yeah, right here. So, strange, this one's empty, but yet it still does have an interior. 
Well, it looks like the edge of the map is right here as far as where we can walk. And as far as this direction, it goes a little bit further, but then it just drops off. But I noticed while I was uh, messing around out here, if I crouch down, I can see this under the map. Which, I have no idea what the hell that is. And I want to go check it out, so let's go on over. What is going on here? There's an MG42 here. Wait, what? Wait, why is there why is there an MG42 with a zombie arm attached to it? Look at this. There's two zombie arms attached to an MG42 under the fountain of Verrucht. What is going on right now, man? I feel like this is probably like a common known fact by a lot of you people, but I I I I have never seen this. This looks nuts. Can I get like on it? I want to like yeah, it doesn't seem like I can I can like mount on the LMG, unfortunately. But that's crazy. I mean, who knew, man? That's what the hell? Why was this here? That doesn't make any sense to me. Maybe at one point, instead of there being a fountain here, uh, it was planned for there to be like a machine gun trap that you can activate and have it shoot zombies for you. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. Strange. I gotta say, but that's pretty cool to know that now. Well, alright, now that we're done looking outside the map, at least for now, let's just take a walk through the map a little bit and, and just and just no clip through some barriers and see what's going on. So like for instance, right here, like what's on the other side of this? And it looks like it's just Oh, what the hell? What is going on here, man? Alright, so there's there's some mathematics I got oh yo, these zombies want to kill me. Get get out of here, man. Yeah, so there's some stuff going on here, definitely. I don't know if this is like Easter egg uh, level level stuff. I'm sure, obviously, this has all been discovered time and time again, but we got a huge number here. Uh, maybe that's a Bible verse. Who knows? <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, but interesting. I don't know. Seven, seven times a seven? Yeah, not sure what's going on here, but... I mean, it is a sanatorium after all, so I mean, perhaps it's just crazed writings. Interesting to see that this is all here, though. I mean, it's it's very well modeled, too, and you don't get to see any of this, really. Right? It's all hidden. I mean, the most you can see of it is is just through this little this little hole right here. Interesting, 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 I have to say. So let's take a walk on up the stairs by this here door. And uh, I guess, well, well, okay, so we got up there to check, which I do want to check as well. But I suppose let's check this first, because this should be easy. Oh, we got a we got a top hat wearing skeleton. Interesting. Interesting. I didn't know that was there, to be honest with you. And it doesn't look like there's much else here. All these tables and stuff you can just walk through. I got a nice view of the outside as well. Fantastic. You can fall right through the map. Yeah, I think that's about it for for that section of the map. Oh, wait, so is this wait a second, so. I'm gonna go through this window here. No, okay, this does not connect to that other room that I was just in. Oh, wait, what? Whoa. Okay, wait, so this is... This does connect to that, even though... Even though it doesn't look like it connects to this room, wherever the hell this is. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, so this is... Oh, wait, there's a... Can I activate it? it makes a weird noise when I knife it, though, doesn't it? Strange, but it doesn't seem like I can activate that. Uh, but yeah, so that connects what? That connects this window as well as this window over here. Interesting, okay. And then, right, I want to check up here as well. So, what's going on in the attic here? Oh, God. Okay, so you can just see through the whole world, apparently. Okay, let's see. Let's just check this up one more time. It seems like. There's not much up in this attic. You can just kind of see through all of the ceiling up here. And I don't think I can walk around. Oh, I can kind of walk around, actually. Yeah, here we go. Nice. Yeah, there's not much modeled up here, unfortunately. But interesting, nonetheless, to, to see that the space does exist. I mean, there's definitely room to, to walk around up here. Let's fall back through. And inside of this whole debris here, it looks like... There's just nothing. I mean, you could just walk through all of it. None of it has barriers. So let's go back inside the map, and let's continue onward. Let's go ahead and buy this here door. 
and see what's going on back here. Not much. Oh, here's that number again. Okay, so that, so apparently, okay, so that, that was outside the map is also inside the map, so it's not like it's some crazy hidden secret after all. That's fair enough. We got a balcony here. Let's check it out. Might as well. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's a ton going on here, but I'm assuming this is the little spawn room for zombies right here where I am. Can I walk into this? No, okay, so this is actually, this actually has a barrier at the back of it. Interesting. Uh, but yeah, there's not much going on, not much going on here on this balcony, so let's go back inside. But what about this door? This door is blocked off, obviously, uh, but on the other side of it, it seems like... Okay, so there is something on the other side of it, actually. There is some space here, although not sure how useful this space is, but it looks like... Oh, oh no. Man, there's been a lot of falling off the map. So far in Verruckt, I gotta say. Uh, but yeah, I'm assuming this is was maybe once going to be used for spawning space, but I guess it's just chilling here now. Interesting. Let's go back inside, and let's buy the next door. Uh, so we got this little room here that zombies spawn in. Let's take a look at it. We got a bloody mattress. That's always wonderful. You love to see those. And oh, it does connect with uh, it does connect with where we just were. Okay, it does connect with that balcony. Interesting. And there's another room as well, here, completely unused. Right, you would never even get to here. Oh, okay, wait, but it connects. Oh, okay, I see how they do this. So I'm guessing, right, I'm guessing zombies use this so that they can like, they can walk through these, these dark sheets, right? Uh, so that you, the player, while you're inside the map, you can't see them spawn behind them or whatever. Uh, but zombies can use that to connect. Uh, to various different uh, entry points to the map. Because this is another entry point of the map, obviously. Uh, is this... where is this? Okay, so these are just closed doors, actually. Huh. Wait, so maybe... actually... Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> maybe maybe that was supposed to be part of the map at some point, right? Because why would this be here... Right, zombies aren't gonna walk ammo. through. I thought I thought these were windows for a second, but they're not. They're closed doors, right? I'm I'm interpreting this wrong. So, maybe this was supposed to be part of the map at some point, or maybe it's just unused assets just chilling around. But interesting nonetheless. Uh, that there's just a room here because this does feel. I mean, it feels like a place you could you could shoot some zombies at. You know what I mean? Like I'd be down to shoot some zombies here. You can see the back of power as well from here as well, which is which is cool. I mean, there's not much going on in there, but cool nonetheless. All right, let's go back inside the map and continue onward. Let's buy the power door as well, actually. In fact, should we turn on the power? I'm not sure if that changes anything. I don't think it will. Uh, we'll leave it off for now. And let's continue onward. Uh, so outside this window, obviously, we got ourselves a staircase. Uh, so I got to check, right? Um, just like before. Can you walk on top of the staircase? No. So in Noct, right, uh, if you've seen the Noct video that I've done uh, just as this one, there was a, a barrier just chilling above the staircase outside the map for absolutely no reason. And I, I had to check, right? I mean, maybe it was a coincidence, but clearly uh, clearly not. So that's very interesting to see uh, and kind of, kind of doubles, kind of makes me want to double down on that Noct theory that I had. Got the bloody shower, of course. You'll love that. Um, there's not much interesting going on with it, I don't think. Uh, is there anything under it? There is a room under it that's completely unused. Interesting. I think this might have been used in the campaign, perhaps. Alright, let's continue onward. And I think we're about to reach the end of windows we can go through. There's another one of these doors. I suppose let's check out what's on the other side of it. It looks like same kind of deal as before. Just another room. Uh, we can't really go to anywhere. All that is barriered off. Okay, and this connects to this. Okay, interesting. So, strange, 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 strange. There's a lot of connections between things outside the map, I'm realizing. Which, uh, I'm wondering if there was going to be, like, more to Verruckt than there actually is. Because there's definitely some, there's definitely some connections through, through, uh, I mean, over there, right? And also over here, which would make sense, right? Because they're opposite sides of the map of each other. It would make sense if you were going to include one side that you would include the other, right? So perhaps there was plans for that. Um, but 
Obviously, there's there's no way to tell. Uh, and this normally is a window, but of course it's completely, uh, well, it's completely bricked up, as you can see. <laughs> it's real bricked up right now. Uh, but on the other side of it, we can see the room. Of course, all we get to see really is, is right here. Uh, but it does lead back to another room over here. I'm assuming just to spawn the zombies out of sight. Uh, quite cool to see some of the assets. Of course, all these things you can just walk right through. And there's another door as well at the back of this. Let's just check what's on the other side of that. It looks like that goes directly to the outside. Uh, quite, quite literally a door to the exterior. Fantastic. Cool. All right, let's go back inside the map and down the staircase back to spawn. Well, I suppose to the other side of spawn. I don't think there's much else to check out here. Um, obviously, all that's outside. Uh, yeah, I think... I think we're good. I think we're I think we're good with all this. All right, I think it's time that we no clip to the roof. I think it's time to take a look at the roof of Rock to see what's going on up here. We got some sandbags as usual. Interesting balcony there. Uh some of this we can walk on. So can we walk onto this balcony? Yeah, okay, cool. There's a door that leads to this little room here which we can just I mean see through everything on the map. Uh Quite interesting, nonetheless, though. Let's take a walk up here. Okay, okay, so this... Okay, that does not have... That does not have a barrier to it, so we can't we can't actually walk on that, unfortunately. What can we walk on here? Doesn't seem like much, to be honest with you. Can we go back up here? No, no, okay. Barrier, barrier, barrier. Alright, let's no clip back up. Yeah, there's a ton... Can we walk on this? Yeah, we can. Okay, cool. Yeah, there's a ton of area here where it's just all, uh, I don't, I don't know what to call it exactly, I suppose, right? The stuff that you, you can walk through, but you can't stand on, right? It doesn't have any, uh, physical barrier to it. There's no collision, right? I suppose, uh, is the thing that we're looking for. Uh, I don't know where I am right now. It looks like I'm above the MP40, I suppose. Interesting little, little attic space here. I don't think you, can you see this from inside the map? No. Uh, I guess the best you can see is right there. Um, but yeah, you you can indeed. I mean, there is some space here to actually just crouch through. Interesting. Uh, so, I mean, we got the frame up here. There's not much going on. I mean, we can see down to those rooms that we were in exploring before. Uh, nothing crazy though. We could stand in some fire, of course. Beautiful. There's the staircase. Love to see it. Everything kind of disappears when you look off the map though, which is unfortunate. So you can't see too much. Um, but I think I think that's about everything out here. I'm gonna take a look around a little bit and and see if I can find anything else that's interesting before we wrap things up. Here. Oh, one more thing I want to check out here is down in the in the power room. Uh, down here, of course, we have a, a window that we all know about. Let's pop on in and just check out what's going on in here. Uh, so they spawn, yeah. So they spawn behind this black wall. They spawn inside this little room. It looks like. And then they come on through and walk towards you into that into that window. Uh, this also connects down here as well. So it acts, I suppose, as a way for these zombies uh, to walk between right two very different parts of the map, right? One being power room, and then the other one being spawn. Right through here. Or I suppose, I suppose wherever, right? I suppose either spawn or, or up the staircase, right? Wherever the hell they're trying to path to, uh, they can connect those two places very easily. Interesting to see how that's been done here. I'm assuming that's so, like, when you run from one part of the map to the other, right? The zombies have a way outside of the map uh, to get there a little bit quicker. Cool, cool stuff. To, cool, 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 cool stuff to see. All right, I think now maybe we'll go a little bit further outside the map and just, just check out some of these assets that are chilling out here, like this barn here. I mean, it's a very nice barn. Just chilling, though. There's not much going on with it. Looks like we have a smoking pile of hay. Um, is there anything else going on out here? I mean, we got all these buildings seem to be completely empty. It's not too much. Uh, this truck is actually relatively well modeled, to be honest with you. And as we move on over here... More buildings that we can just go right through. There's nothing, doesn't seem like there's anything inside of anything out here whatsoever, to be honest with you. 
But it's cool to see it up close, at least at least for me, it's cool to see it up close. I hope you guys enjoy it as well. Because uh, obviously, I mean, the best you ever get is is looking through a window, you know? But now we can, we can, we can get a little bit of an up-close view on all this stuff. Oh! I just noticed! This gate says 935 on it! Wow, okay. That's cool. Yeah, so I mean, obviously... Obviously, right, group 935 is, is very important to the zombie storyline. So I'm assuming that is symbolizing this sanatorium uh, being part of that, which is which is quite cool. I wonder if that's there on the original Barakt. That'd be cool to see, because obviously, right, most of the story stuff kind of came after Barakt. Um, I mean, I feel like I feel like Shino Numa was really the first the first time that they started starting to really develop that story, right? To to start looking into the future and be like, hey, zombies. Zombies could really be something here. Uh, let's let's lay down a storyline. So, but this is this is quite interesting to see this there. I'm wondering if that has been there uh, since the very beginning. I suppose one little interesting thing about the skybox of this map: it looks like off in the distance, inside the skybox, obviously, so we can't like get closer to it. Uh, but it looks like there's some lighthouses out there. There's a random island. Obviously, most of it just looks like water. Uh, I mean, it's just blue. I suppose it's not. I suppose it's not water. Um, but it's quite interesting to see uh, where where what's going on outside the skybox. But it doesn't it doesn't fit well with what's actually going on inside the map, right? But of course, obviously, you'll never you'll never see those lighthouses. I don't think I don't even know if you can see them. Yeah, I don't. I, you can't even see them standing on top of the sanatorium, let alone being inside of them. But it's interesting to see that. I wonder if that's like reused from another level or something like that. I'm assuming there's probably a limited number of skyboxes that they use. Because they don't really need much more than, than what they got going on above us. Man, this MG42 is still puzzling me, dude. This is crazy that this is here. I mean, it's it seems like it would fit very well in this pile of of all these skeletons, right? So, I mean, it, it would make sense that in the middle, instead of having a blood fountain, that there was just a pile of bones and, and, and dirt leading up to an MG42. I mean, that'd be so sick. I don't know if that would necessarily have been a good function of the map to have a trap all the way in the middle. I think it would have been cool, right, to, to like, be... I don't know how you would activate it, I suppose. Maybe somewhere in here you could just activate uh, the MG42 trap. I suppose maybe you wouldn't want it in spawn, right? You'd probably want it somewhere else. Uh, but cool. Very cool nonetheless, I gotta say. Because I don't think there has been a trap like that yet. Right, because this is the first map that has ever introduced traps whatsoever, right? These these electric traps at the doorways. So perhaps they were already experimenting with machine gun traps, which we've, of course, seen in, in later uh, later Zombies maps, which we'll be taking a look at uh, soon enough. Interesting, I have to say. Got a mini fridge here, too. Beautiful. Well, I'm going to turn on the power. I don't think that changes anything about the map, really. Well, here's what the power room looks like now from behind. Uh, I suppose that's the main thing that it changed. We can see the arc of, of electricity between the two. Uh, whatever you want to call these things. Interesting to see that. Doesn't deal you any damage. Well, actually, you know what? Let's find out, right? We're all, we're all about testing. Uh, so let's, let's go ahead, turn off god mode. No. No, definitely, definitely doesn't injure you. Well, all right, I think that is all we have for Verrucked. I hope you guys enjoyed. There was quite a bit of interesting things here, especially that MG42. That that really puzzled me. It's quite cool to see that. Uh, as, as well as how those how the zombie pathing works, like, outside of the map, specifically over here as well as over in that area there. Quite interesting indeed. I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, my God, I just fell through. Let's just, you know, let's just chill right here. <laughs> and if you did, leave a like on the video. Subscribe so you can come back for more, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.